Ravenlock got my attention with its visuals and unique designs it delivers that is closely related to Alice in Wonderland. I saw that the game is quite short, just around 6 to 7 hours in length, and with my time very precious to me with my family and work, my downtime in gaming is very sparse as my backlog only gets larger and larger. Being short overall, I said sure, why not, let's have a go. Before we start, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel and hope you enjoy my content I provide. I'm trying to hit that plateau of 1000 subs, so please like and subscribe if you like what I do. Ravenlock was developed and published by Coco Cucumber for Microsoft Windows, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X and S in 2023. The game is a mixture between 3D visuals with pixel art that features a third person perspective. The camera is locked for the most part and leaving the player traversing through the world with an auto camera at all times. As an indie action RPG, Ravenlock follows a young girl who finds herself pulled away from her reality to a new fantasy world that has been cursed by an evil caterpillar queen. The story here really is just that simple as Ravenlock helps the characters of the world with tasks and in return give power-ups and magic to help Ravenlock in her quest in defeating the evil queen. The story isn't anything that will wow you as it is a straightforward progress as a means to the end. There were times where I wanted to find out more and do more but in the end you just accept what happens and move on. As an example, there was one scene where you fight a boss battle that has been trapped and once you're done with it, it tells you to mind your own business and that's that. The gameplay here is very simple as you use a sword and shield combination. You also add special techniques and magic are also implemented as you fight. The battles here are fast and smooth and is fun at times, but nothing to scream home about after you master it within an hour of the game. It's serviceable, but no devil may cry here. The real high point of the game is its visuals and presentation. Although simplistic and definitely not moving technology forward by any means, Ravenlock is still a beautifully designed game in its own right. I kept moving forward to see what else the game offers in its visuals and design alone, and the game did not disappoint. The developers really did push this fantasy world from its inspiration from Alice in Wonderland, but also making its own unique feel and look. Overall, Ravenlock is a beautiful game with its lush and colorful visuals to its entranced soundtrack. Too bad the straightforward story and simple gameplay mechanics did not have the same influence. Ravenlock gets a 7.0 out of 10 for its unique and very imaginative presentation and that is its saving grace as it's pulled down for its simplistic combat and non-existent storyline. Still happy I completed this one to the end just for the visuals. That's it for this look into Ravenlock. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Damn.